What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is Mark Mac Attack. Hope you guys are having a great Thursday. And today we're going to be completing race number 9 in the NASCAR Heat 5 Next Gen Career Mode at Richmond Raceway in the Toyota Owners 400. Uh, let's do a quick recap on the season standings thus far. Still got Kyle Larson in the lead uh, in the point standings with those three wins. Uh, he's got a 31 point advantage over Denny Hamlin who is second. Got Chase Elliott there in third. Brad Keselowski fourth. And uh, we are right there in the fifth position with those two wins. I've uh, been doing really good uh, with this series. We've been having a really good last, oh, about three or four races have been really good for us. And uh, we're looking to keep it going here today. Uh, just another quick reminder as well, I did bump up the uh, AI difficulty all the way up to Legend, which is the highest it can go up to. Still got uh, full damage, 25% race length, times for tire wear and fuel, strict cautions, and stages are on as well. So those are the settings that we are using. So yeah, this is our second short track in a row. Uh, did pretty good at Bristol, got a top 10. Make sure you guys go and check out that video from a few days ago as well. And as, and as always, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoy today's content as well. And as always, appreciate all of the support from you guys. I uh, couldn't be able to do it without you guys, so thank you guys as always. So, we got tw uh, 100 laps here at Richmond. Let's go ahead and let's get started. Uh, Richmond is one of my favorite tracks on, on the schedule. I, I really look forward to it. A lot of good, uh, good hard racing. I don't know what to expect here. I really haven't ran here much in the next gen cars, so uh, kind of a little bit of a unknown variable, but uh, eh, you never know. Hopefully we can keep going with the top tens and uh, keep getting those uh, bonus incentive contracts as well, so just got to keep it going. Here as we load up, not going to practice, just going to go right into qualifying and then the race. All right. Let's see. We got pull time at a 20.476. So let's see what we can do here. All righty. See here. Got to get a good launch off of three and four. Get a good run to the start line. I feel like this will be a track too that we're gonna have to shift that in the corners shift down the fourth I think it'll definitely help us with speed and here's we work our way through three and four a pretty solid lap Alright, so we lock in 29th on the starting grid for the race. Uh, a little bit slower than I thought we'd be, but uh, again with it being on legend difficulty, that's to be expected. Looks like Denny Hamlin got the pull, and Alex Bowman's going to start to his outside on the front row. Alright, so we got a little bit of a challenge on our hand. we got to get that race goal of uh, 20 posi 20th position, so we'll see what we can do here. Here's we head to the Geico Restart Zone. Green flag is out. We are racing here at Richmond. See, we got 19 laps of stage one, so a very short stage. You will not have to pit. Let's uh, see if I get down to the bottom, but not able to quite do it there. Oh, and there's a car around the 15 Orion Priest that is going to bring out the caution. Ooh, okay. All right, well, I think what I'm going to do is let's make some adjustments on, on this car. I feel like I'm going to have to take some tape off. Let's go down a little on the wedge. Let's go down a little on the tire pressures as well. All right, so this is a loss to make our adjustments. Yeah, we'll start at the back, but that's all right. 
All right, we only went, we didn't even go one lap before we had our first caution. Let's see if we can get some green flag racing going here. As the green flag is out, and here we go. Let's get down to the bottom underneath Timmy Hill here. All right, we got 15 laps to go here in stage number one. Let's see what we can do. Three wide underneath Almarola and Biffle. Get past them. Underneath the 27 as well. 14 to go here in stage one. Looks like Denny Hamlin is our leader at the moment. Down the back of the 78 there a little bit. It's all right, no harm. Just gotta find our way underneath these guys. We got 13 laps to go here in stage one. And send it underneath the 78, a little bit of a dirty dive bomb. But we made it work there. Almarola with a huge run. 38 tried to chop our nose, but I was there. We were three wide and three and four. At the 10 of Almarola, still to our outside, though. And yeah, you can just see we're still lacking on speed pretty bad. Uh, still tight. And now we're a little bit side by side down the back stretch. Yeah, I cannot turn. A little tight going in. Into the corners. Alright, let's let Almarilla go here. Let's see if we can get our line going here. There we go. That was a better one and two. Still side by side with Almarola. Nice little battle going on. Got 10 laps to go here in stage number one. And we got past the 15 of Ryan Presor at the 31st. Slowly but surely moving along here. Definitely don't got the pace here like I thought we would. Yeah, have to maybe go a little off strategy, try and salvage a day. The inside of the 51 of Cody Ware. And we will get the, get the job done there, so up to 30. Got a run on Stenhouse. Not quite able to get up there. But we got eight laps to go here in stage number one. We're going to dive down. Got our new Stenhouse here. See if we can clear him. Yep, we will. All right, up to 29th. <laughs> Slowly but surely getting our way up there. Got to pick them off one at a time. All right, we got seven laps to go here in stage number one. As we're three wide back here. All right, we are going to make the pass. Get past the 16 and the 31. Paley and Almendinger there, so we're up to 26. Ooh, I got tight there. Well, Custer had a little bit of a run, but I kind of blocked it off there. Get down there underneath Burton. All right, we're up to 25th, so ooh, not bad. We're starting to get a little loose off the corners. Just trying to kind of manage here. If we could get up to the top 20 by the end of the stage, that'd be very nice. Got this little pack up here. And we got to the inside of Suarez, a little bit of contact. Uh, he's sideways. Kind of back off for him there a little bit. All right, we got four laps to go here. Back up our corner a little bit, get a good launch off. Get close. Ooh. Charge the corner a little bit. There we go. Keep it off of Suarez. We're three wide here. Underneath the 14 and the 42. So we got three laps to go here in stage number one at Richmond. And we're up to 20 seconds, so I'll take it for where we were.
Really having the feather the throttle. Right, we got two laps to go here in stage number one. Let's see if we can get Logano and Cindric here. I don't know if we'll get Suarez. I think we can get Cindric for sure. So we're to his inside. And yep, we're gonna clear Cindric, so up to 21st. White flag here in stage number one. Looks like Denny Hamlin is gonna get the stage win. So he's gonna sneak inside of Logano there. A little contact, got a little loose. He's able to hold it. Let's go to his inside. Oh, and the caution has come out. That is going to end stage one. We did get Logano, so we did get up to 20th, which is, again, our race goal of where we need to finish to get that bonus money as well. So let's go up here and read the results here real quick. Denny Hamlin gets a stage win. Got Martin Trick Jr. finished at second. Got Kevin Harvick finished at third. Brad Keselowski fourth. And Alex Bowman rounds out the top five after stage one here at uh, Richmond. We end up getting 20th. Let's go ahead and pit, take four tires and fuel. And we will be restarting P20 on the grid here for the start of stage number two as we head to the Geico restart zone. Green flag is out. And we are back underway for stage two here at Richmond. We'll get down low here. Okay, this stage is a little bit longer, got 36 laps, so we will have to make a pit stop at some point. Just gonna hold this bottom here. So we're underneath the Suarez in the 99. Still to our outside. Alright, looks like we're gonna clear Suarez. So we are inside the top 20 in 19th place. Not bad. Let's see if we can stay up with these front guys here a little bit. Looks like we're underneath the 12 of Ryan Blaney and the 23 of Bubba Wallace. We were able to clear Blaney, so we are up to 18th. Oh, looks like Bubba Wallace got loose a little bit there. So they're getting us another spot up to 17th. We're moving along here. Ooh, messed up my entry a little bit in the one, but able to hold off Logano there. So yeah, overall, car's okay. It's not the most stable, but we can manage it. It's pretty fast. Ooh, Logano with a big run there. Had to block him off. I'm really just not able to run my line the way I want it because I'm kind of having to block them, so. I just don't want these guys to get to our inside because then we'll fall back quite a ways. See that front back there kind of starting to pull away a little bit. Don't got the fastest car, but... Gotta manage it. Alright, we got 30 laps to go here in stage number two at Richmond. Still got Denny Hamlin leading. He's been class of the field thus far. We are riding here still in P17. Got a little bit of a gap. Kind of no man's land right now. Running about the same as the guys in front of us and the same behind us, so <laughs> it's not really going anywhere yet. I do think the longer we run, though, hopefully the faster we get. I know that was kind of the case at Bristol. The longer it ran, kind of the better we got, so. We can just uh, maintain here. Maybe these guys run into that lap traffic as well. Help slow some of these guys down. Maybe we can start picking them off a little bit. But we got to run long enough under green to catch those lap cars. So eh, it'll be interesting to see. We kind of have caught LaJoy a little bit. Kind of reeling them in just a touch. 
Eric Amarola is going to cut us as well in the 10 car. Ooh, we got loose at the apron a little bit. Now Amarola thinks about dive bombing us, but he thought better. Ooh, let's see when we sneak underneath with Joy here. Oh, a lot of contact. Oh, boy. He might get loose here going into three. Yeah. No, that's my bad. But that allows us to get up to 16th there. Let's block Amarola. Let's see if we can maintain it here. Yeah, the car does get really loose after about lap lap 10. It really s starts to go away handling wise. Alright, we got 24 laps to go here in stage number two. Almarola peaks to our inside. Not quite able to get there. We hold him off. Let's see if we can get Eric Jones here. He's running like the way outside. Let's see if we can clear him here. Alright, we will up to 15th. Not bad. We'll block on roll again. All right, so still got 14 laps of fuel, so still got a ways to go on pit stops. But uh, overall, not not bad so far. Race has been really, really entertaining. Uh, looks like Alex Bowman uh, is our new race leader. Looks like he passed Hamlin for the lead. So we do have a new race leader. As El Morola almost peeked to our inside, but we kind of. Shut the door on him there. Here's we got 21 laps to go here in stage number two. Oh boy. Guy got really squirrely there. As Almarola gave a, sh a shot in the back and then he got loose. And now he fell way back. That's going to check up a lot of the guys behind there. Huh? Yeah, it wasn't going to give him the dive bomb there. Oh, but the caution has come out here at Richmond. Okay, that is interesting. So, that is going to make sure, or take out, excuse me, take out the green flag pit stop aspect of it. So, everybody should be good to go on fuel and tires. Going to go ahead and pit. Take four tires and fuel. And we gain two spots on pit road. Good job by the pit crew there. Here as we head to the Geico Restart Zone, the green flag is out. And we are back underway here at Richmond. Restarting P13. There's 16 laps to go here in stage number two. Going to peek to the inside of Larson. Going to get the job done there. So Kevin Harvick got loose in front of us there. Oh, uh, cream the back of Harvick there. I didn't think he was going to check up that much. Darn it. That's all right. We're going to have a lot of front end damage there. Yep. Oh my god, I can't get off Elliot. There we go. All right, we just got to settle in here. Our car is tight now. With that damage. Oh boy. Oh. All right, we got to hang on here. We got 14 laps to go here in stage two. That damage is not helping the car. All right, just gotta get in a rhythm here. Got the whole pack right behind us here. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> There's definitely no breathing here. Ugh. Just gotta protect this bottom. They won't be able to go anywhere as long as they protect the bottom. Ooh, we hit the wall. That hurt us a lot there. We're kind of just all over the place. Can't really run my line. I'm just too tight. Oh, a lot of contact with Suarez. Like we got hooked. And the caution has come out. Yep. I tried to block Suarez and we got hooked and spun him around. That caused a big pile up back there. Uh, let's go ahead and stay out. No sense in this pit, and we only got a couple laps to go here in stage number two. We just try and hang on here. Looks like Denny Hamlin got back to the lead there. 
Here as we head to the Gecko Restart Zone, blue, green flag is out, and we are back underway here at Richmond. Oh my goodness, the car did not go. Wow. Oh, we're three wide, very tight. Just trying to hang on here. How many laps we got to go? Oh, looks like about eight laps to go. Look how tight we are. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. This is chaos. We got to get. Uh, Bubba got really loose there with the contact. Uh, not trying to do it. Just can't turn the car at all with the damage. All right, we got seven laps to go <laughs> here in stage number two. Just again, just trying to hang on to it. So got Denny Hamlin uh, leading there. After he got back around Bowman, he's starting to pull away from that that pack there. Not worried about the guys in front of us. We're not going to catch them with the damage we got, but. We can hold these guys off here, get a top 15 in stage two. That would be really nice. I know I'm not making friends out here with how much contact I've made with a lot of these guys, but it is what it is. All right through three and four. We're going to have to hang on for four more laps here in stage two. Let's get to the caution and then we can repair this damage. Ooh. The damage did help it though get tighter to where I don't get as loose off the corners which is kind of nice but I can't really turn the car though. This is the bad part so. We have three laps to go here in stage two. And then just trying to get to that stage break. I hit the apron there in three and four, that's all right. We're gonna hang on to it. Two laps to go here in stage number two. Check this button again. We'll work our way through three and four. It's going to be one lap to go here in stage two. Looks like we're going to hang out for 14th position here, which is very nice. Kind of was able to split the pack up with all that, all the carnage there at the beginning of the restart. Wasn't trying to do that, but was able to work out for us. So it's going to be a P14 for us here in stage number two. Danny Hamlin got the stage win again here in stage two. Alex Bowman finishes second. You got Kyle Busch third. Uh, Kurt Busch fourth. And Brad Kozlowski rounds out the top five. Let's go ahead and pit, of course. Take four tires and feel. And yeah, we got to repair that three seconds worth of damage. Which is going to put us back to P16 on the starting grid. Here's we head to the restart for the final stage here at Richmond. Green flag is out. And we are back underway. Let's get down to this bottom as soon as we can. <laughs> we got 39 laps to go. Let's get down the inside of Austin Dillon there in the three. A little bit of contact with the five of Larson there. All right, we're up to 14th. I don't know what happened. I think Larson got loose with me making contact with him off of turn two, but yet he spins in three and four. It makes makes no sense. It's NASCAR Heat 5 logic, but that's all right. Nothing I can do about it. There's three wide right ahead of us here. We got to take advantage of this. We can stay up with these guys. That would be huge.
a little bit tight there. We might be able to get underneath McDowell and three and four if we can get a good enough run here. No, nope, he locked the bottom there. That's all right. It looks like Brad Kozlowski has passed Hamlin. He is through the lead here. I think he's our third different leader uh, of the race here today. I'm going to seek underneath McDowell here in the 34. He's got the run off there. Let's see him get underneath him here in three and four. It's Corey LaJoy peeks over inside. Oh boy, we are tight. Ah, uh, that's not what I wanted to happen. We have 35 laps to go here at Richmond. Let's see if we can settle back in here. Come on, LaJoy, get going. All right. Trying to settle back in here. Car's not handling the greatest still. Kind of weird. We're kind of tight in the corner. Not able to hold the bottom, but then we're really loose off. So, <laughs> kind of a bad combo here. All right, we got 33 laps to go. Uh, here at Richmond, I should have blocked Elliott. Oh. And now he's going to get up into us, of course. All right, let's get going here, Elliot. Come on. There we go. Well, that allowed them to pull away from us, darn it. I thought for sure I was going to get McDowell, but... That didn't help us there with the contact with Elliot, but let's get back in the rhythm here. That yeah, car's just kind of all over the place. Kind of can't hold it. <laughs> Got to manage it as best as we can here. I made kind of the adjustments I thought that would be best for it, but I probably should have just left it alone. Probably go back up on the wedge a little bit when we have our pit stop coming up. It looks like Martin Trek Jr. has gotten to the lead now. It looks like he got past Kozlowski and Hamlin. So, new leader since the 19 of Martin Trek Jr. We got 30 laps to go. We're just trying to salvage a day here again. Top 20 is all I care about. As long as we finish there, I am very happy. Alright, we got 29 laps to go here. We are catching McDowell a little bit and Burton. They're kind of running that way outside, which is really helping us. If they could keep doing that, that would be very nice. <laughs> so we got 28 laps to go here. Still got to block Elliott, and he's trying to go underneath of us. Ooh, going to have a nice run here on Burton in the 21. Oh, contact. My car just shoots up off of turn two. Yep, yeah, and that's going to get him loose. All right, he was able to hold it pretty good, so we didn't lose much time at all. Let's see if we can dive underneath them here. One and two. Ooh, and the caution is out. Oh, no, somebody has spun, and we made contact, of course. Spun right into us. Okay, that's very interesting, because that puts us right on the number to make it. Uh, man, I kind of didn't want to see that, because we were going to make some moves there. Let's go ahead and go up on the wedge a little bit here. Take four tires and fuel. All right. Made our adjustments there. Going to be restarting P13. We're going green. Let's see what we can do here. Green flag is out, and we are back underway here at Richmond. We have 23 laps to go. Let's see what we can do here. Dive underneath the 18 to Kyle Bush. Cole Custer in the 41 as well, and we will. All right. Nice moves there. That's risky, but we were able to make it work. We are actually inside the top 10. All right. 
good restart for us here. Let's see if we can get underneath Busher in the 17. We're there, but he's going to get to run off the corner. That's all right. All right, we got 21 laps to go here, Richmond. I've still got Martin Trex Jr. in the lead. He's been pretty fast. Cars handling a lot better thus far. I think going up on the wedge definitely helped. Angry pack of hounds right behind us. We're trying to hold off here. We're not bad, but just don't got the horsepower. That's all right, though. Just got to maintain here. We got 19 laps to go. We got 18 laps to go here. We're in some of our best laps of the race right now. We're actually able to keep up with some of these guys, so maybe as, a long, as the run goes on, maybe we can get LaJoy and McDowell up there. We're running that way outside. We got Titan 3 and 4 there. We held on to it. Got 17 laps to go. Looks like Alex Bowman is uh, past Martin Truex Jr., and he's in the lead now. I'm kind of just flip-flopping for the lead there. Ooh, we got really... Oh, got really loose in three and four. I downshifted too early. Oh, no. That is going to bring out the caution. Oh, man. We had such a good run going. <laughs> I downshifted too early going into three and four and hit the apron and spun. Oh, man. That was going to be a really good race, or a really good run for us, too. I don't know if I should pit or if I should stay out. So if I pit, we're going to lose all our track position. Oh, man. Uh, let's go. We'll stay out. We'll see how we run here. Uh, I feel like I probably should have pitted there, but... And we'll have to see here. All right, let's head to the Geico restart zone. Green flag is out. Oh, yeah, we got front and side damage. Oh, boy. Let's get down to the bottom here. We got 13 laps to go. Let's try not to screw this up again. <laughs> see, we got to get past these two here quickly. Able to get past Harvick, but not, not quite Cole Custer there. Uh, no bomb there in three and four. All right, we're back up to 11th. We got 12 laps to go here at Richmond. And the Toyota owner's 400. Just trying to hang on here. We're not going to be able to keep up with those guys with the damage, so we just got to hang on here. Car is all over the place still. All right, we got 11 laps to go here. Oh, and I hit the wall there. That did not help. I knew Kyle. Oh, boy. Okay. Contact all over the place. Oh, boy. Kyle Bush got loose. All right. We held that as best as we could up there. This car is definitely all over the place with the damage. Just hanging on here. We got Mark Trek Jr. back in the lead. Looks like he passed Bowman again. All right, we got nine laps to go. We're gonna hang on for nine more laps. Top 15 would be huge. off the of two there almost attacked the wall but maybe they'll maintain it oh boy got caught on the apron there trying to block 
Dylan there in the three. We got seven laps to go here at Richmond. Ooh, got really tight there. Still hold on to it though. All right. It's like we got six laps to go here at Richmond. Just blocking the bottom here, all we can do. Outside, outside. They're all around. Haven't been talking much, just trying to concentrate and make sure I hold these guys off. Got five laps to go here at Richmond. Denny Hamlin and Martin Trash Jr. are battling for the lead there. I see him flip-flopping there on the mini-map. Ooh, got tight going into three there a little bit, but we held on to it. I know I'm holding these guys up, but we got to block it. We got four laps to go here. Kyle Busch is going to peek to our outside. See, if he gets around us, that's all right. We'll just let him go, but we're able to hold him off. All right, we got three laps to go here at Richmond. And still just trying to hang on there. Got a, a pack of about 10 of them right behind me trying to get around. Just protect this bottom. It's going to be hard for them to get around us here. All right, got two laps to go here at Richmond. Looks like the 45 of Kurt Busch is leading, too. I haven't talked about him in hardly all day long. He is to the point. It's going to be the white flag for them this time by here at Richmond. As we're going to hold on here. So we got one to go. Alright, coming off the of three and four, it's going to be Kurt Busch. Getting the win here at Richmond. Nicely done. I think that's his first win of the season as well. We're going to finish 11th place here at Richmond. Definitely made the right call there by staying out and keeping that track position. Overall, a good, a good solid day for us. Uh, made a lot of enemies. <laughs> Got into a lot of people there. Wasn't really trying to, but well, there's going to be some drivers that aren't too happy with me and the way I drove them, but that's yeah, part of racing. Let's go through the race results here. Got Kurt Busch getting the win here at Richmond. His first win of the season. You got Martin Truex Jr. finishing second. You got Denny Hamlin who swept the, uh, the first two stages and had probably the fastest car here. Uh, ends up finishing third. You got Chris Busch here finishing fourth. Chris Rebell rounds out the top five. And again, we finish P11 here today. Solid run for the boys. Solid uh, payday as well. We will take that. And let's check out uh, the, the standings here. And we have a new driver at the top, and it is Denny Hamlin as our new points leader after Richmond. Kyle Larson falls down the second uh, after not having a very good day. He kind of got caught up in a lot of the carnage there uh, behind us there, so he did not have the best of days. Uh, got Brad Kozlowski third in points, Chase Elliott fourth, and we are still sitting there in fifth place with those two wins so able to maintain our our points position of fifth place we will take that let's go ahead and let's finish the event here at richmond overall hope you guys enjoyed a lot of carnage definitely uh made some drivers upset here today but that is short track racing at its best not going to have any regrets with it and move on so Let's see here what our next race will be. Let's add our money to the bank account here first. And let's see. Next race will be race number 10. And it will be at Talladega Super Speedway in the Geico 500. That'll be our next race. <laughs> Should be very interesting. 
Uh, we did as well with that 11th place finish. We already got our incentive contract there of three top 20s within uh, five races. So that'll be a nice payout for us. And we will definitely take that. So, again, thank you guys for watching today's video. I uh, really hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys hit the like uh, button if you enjoyed today's content. Make sure, of course, you guys hit that subscribe button as well uh, if you haven't as well. So, yeah, been a, g a good series thus far. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Mark Mac Attack signing off. You guys have a great rest of your day, and we will catch you guys in the next video.